You may have heard people talk about an off-season in triathlon and in this video I'll explain all you need to know about what it is, why it's so important and how to make it as effective as possible. Hey, it's Coach Mark here from Mr Triathlon where we share lots of knowledge, tips and tricks to help you progress faster in triathlon. If you're new here, then please click the subscribe button. So let's jump in. So what is the off season? So I like to think of it as a short break between one season and the start of a new one. I like it to be a period of no formal training, not at all, with no specific sessions to follow and an opportunity to really switch off. It's always tempting to keep training and trying to progress your fitness, especially when you may have built a good level during your season and you might be in the best shape of your life, but it's a good idea not just physically but mentally to switch off from your training to recharge those batteries. Take time, spend some time with the family and friends. Eat some of the foods that you may have denied yourself during the focus season of training. One of my previous mentors used to call this the get out of shape phase and whilst I don't quite go that far, it is important to take that mental break to recharge those batteries. It can really last as long as you need it to, um, but it's normally at least two weeks is a good period of time to switch off. During this off season, I don't provide any formal training to my athletes, but I do ask them to record any activities they do, but they're free to do as much or as little as they like. If you do want to keep active, then it's a good opportunity to try a new activity that you may have not done before, like yoga or Pilates, or um, last year I did stand up paddle boarding, which is actually great fun falling in the water and also helped me to be um, much better with my open water swim coaching. To make it really effective and to help you really switch off, it's also a good idea to make a few retrospective notes from your season of things that went really well and those that didn't go quite so well. The reason you should write them down is that it really helps you to better switch off and if you're taking those notes you'll be in a really good position to create a really good focus plan for the season that's coming up. And my final tip is that if you start training again and you're really not feeling motivated about it, it could be wise to take even more time off until you're really refreshed and ready to go. It's important to take more time than less than you need to. Uh, but the most important thing is that you feel really ready to go again when you start training. So in summary, number one, switch off from any formal training that you do, just take that break. Number two, take some retrospective notes from your season and you've got them written down. Catch up with friends and family. Try a new activity if you want to keep active. Uh, but the most important thing is make sure you're feeling motivated before you start training again. If you have any tips to nail your own off-season or advice for others on what you do, then please get involved in the comments and I'd love to hear what you do. And I'll see you in the next video.